Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to another episode of Real People Off the Record. What's going on? Same old, same old. Tony D, how you feeling? Feeling, feeling good. Feeling good. Going around the table, I got Mr. It's Official Show. What's up? Nuggets are about to take this. I'm telling y'all. Take what? Jay, what are you taking? Stand down, Jay. What are you stand taking? Stand down, Jay. What are you taking? Listen, I, I honestly, I think, I think the Nuggets got it. Who do I want to win? I want Heat to win because I'm in Florida. I, I own land in Florida. I got to support my boys. You know what I mean? I, got well, I want the Heat to win too, but it, that puts too much pressure on my Dolphins because the hockey team is there, the basketball team is there. I don't want that pressure. Little you know, Panthers. You're being a little dramatic right now. Uh, hey, I'm sensitive. I'm an Aries and I'm Puerto Rican, so fuck it. Yeah. <laughs> and we got Jay just chilling right there, yes, crying sir. about because Miami's about to get her ass whipped. The one and only. <laughs> I don't know, man. They got Timothy Butler, bro. He might, he might be able to, you know. That's that's Jordan Jr. No, I, I don't know. The Joker got yeah. some uh, words for him. Nah, Joker is wild, bro. He's not. <laughs> that's not the same Jokic from last year. I don't care what nobody says. He, he got in his bag this year and just let the beast out. MVP. He should have been. <laughs> anyway, so what we got going today. We got one of the uh, another Tampa legend in the building. My boy Cito Sounds, producer, engineer, just overall music. Genius, bro. I honestly wouldn't be surprised if he's teaching like music theory at a college somewhere as well at this point. What's up, man? I'm blessed. Thank you. Thank well, you for having me. Welcome to the show. Welcome to the Thank show. You, man. This is this is uh this is different. This is really different, man. It's, you know, you do something like why, this, you feel like why you why do you say why do you say it's different? It's different because it's uh you know, it's still media and stuff. That's kinda like the area I'm in, but it's like a different kind of media. It's almost it almost feel like you on already, like you know, you're on the scene. You you know, you're on the spotlight already. You know, you 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 letting uh you letting a message out already to the world in a different way besides music. You know, so mm -hmm. that's why I say it's different, man. But um, thank but you if, but if you me. didn't do yeah, that already, you wouldn't be on the show. So I'm just I'm just putting that out there. Oh, like yeah, if you sure. didn't put that out, if you didn't put that energy and that work in, you wouldn't be here. Truth. So. That's a fact. Truth. So I like to start off the show. Pretty much having our audience meet you. So, tell us a little bit about you, and then we're gonna we're gonna fill in the gaps, and we're gonna try to get some more information out of you. But tell tell us a little brief story or a brief thing about you. Shit, yeah, man. Uh, that's my name, you know, Cito Cito Sounds. That's my tag. Everything. Everybody know me as Cito. All the sounds. Cito got it. You know, that's like kind of like my little moniker I got going. Part of my brand. You know. But Cito, you know, short for Alex, Alexito, I'm a junior in my family. It's a Spanish thing, you know, Boricua, Dominicano, yeah. you know what I mean? Like, so come from that little, um, that, that heritage, that background. So I just grabbed Cito from it from like high school. Like, I'm going to just, I'm going to just go with that Cito. And it just, I felt like I had a ring to it. Uh, Cito, Cito sound. So yeah. everybody know me by that. You know, I started, uh, you know, making music, like making beats and stuff like senior year, high school. Uh, you know, parents was on me. Yo, you gonna do school? You know, mm -hmm. you gonna, you gonna. You, we came out here from <laughs> New York to Florida. You gonna, we gonna raise you the right way. So we gonna get your ass in one of these colleges. You gonna get a degree. And I'm like, damn. All right. So I know for sure I wasn't gonna try to do no medical and get a degree in no medical. <laughs> you know what I mean? I don't, yep. So there, I'm like, that. I was doing my due diligence, homework, research, trying to find even if it's like a little junior community college, if it had anything to do with audio or music. I was going to do that, you know, so uh, I did that after high school graduation down in Ruskin, uh, Leonard High School. I went to uh, SPC down in Gibbs, did my little three years, um, you know, associate's you like, degree. You sound like you just did a bit. <laughs> I just did three years, you know. Three years <laughs> SPC. <laughs> I mean, Man yeah, because, me you know, that process, I ain't going to lie, because. It probably sound like that because that process sometimes feels so dreading. Like, mm -hmm. yeah. you know, you got to take all these courses and classes and you sit in there like, yo, do I like I, in your mind, you already know what you want to do. And this is like, man, I got to do this just to get some yep. paperwork. So True. that's probably why it sound like that. But uh, but yeah, I, you know, I was determined. I was going to make it happen. You know, you let, let my parents, you know, be happy with that. You know, I got something on paper for you and I'm, I'm going to start this journey on my own. You know, like I'm going to just do it, you know, full force. You know, uh, absolutely. No plan B. You know, like not, I'm just going all all my energy into this. You know, like uh, keeping the good energy around me and my good mindset. 
Um, but it, you know, it, it did help me. You know, like I'm not putting it down or anything like the school thing. You know, like overall, just being around certain uh, good individuals, like-minded people that's trying to strive just like you. It's it's still good. You know, I'm not knocking the whole like school thing. You know, but yeah. Um, I like to say everything is what you make it. You know what I mean? Well, everyone has a different path too. Everyone has a different path of what they want to do and how they, you know, want to interpret their, you know, their inner desires. You know what I mean? Like you gotta like some people paint, some people sing, some people, you know, make beats, some people just want to live and be around music, and some people just, you know, have their own thing. Some people live by the limitations of of the United States and they, how they want you to go to college and be all uh, studious. And get your degrees and all that stuff that are worthless pieces of paper that just drive up debt for you know the working class. So I got I got my own feelings on all of that, but <laughs> but like I said, but there's other other ways that you know other things that we like to do that we want to do, desire, and how we get there is is all different and how we get there in different ways. You know what I mean? Sure. Absolutely, absolutely. So um, you said uh, well, Jay said you're a producer. You're uh, um, an engineer. What do you like doing best? So, what I do best, I won't lie what do you, to you. No, what do you like doing best? Oh. Not what you what you do best. What do you like? Doing well, both still. What I do best and what I like doing best is just actually putting songs together, bringing artists together on a certain you know vibration on the same vibration, and uh, and just making something like just making something that jumps out at people. Like, you know, through like frequency drums and like different melodic patterns, and you know, so it's yeah, yeah I do engineering, but that's you know, like that's kind of like a little. I still love it, you know, but it's kind of like at this point for me, it's like that's kind of like my entryway, my foot into like get in touch and, and and like help these artists, you know, find their sound and stuff like that, and you know, so. But I mean, yeah, I like actually like beside even though that is engineering, still like helping them put it together, but. Absolutely. It's still like kind of outside thing. It's not really a thing where like uh, like what I do on the side is kind of like I because I, I make beats also, but aside from the engineering. So you know I'll make a beat and I'll have an artist in mind for it and I'll like like yo pull up. You know I have this. Well, that's what I that's what I mean. Like what do you like better? Like uh, the production side where you make a beat and then you have an artist in mind. Let's say I don't know this little guy called Jay just chilling. Um, <laughs> never, and, never heard know, of him. And, 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 <laughs> yeah, I heard he's, I heard he's a douchebag. So disrespectful. You heard that too? Oh but, shit! I, damn. But, but like, let's say out. you make, let's say you make a beat, and you know Jay is going to be like the perfect person to flow on that beat. What, what, what do you like? Do you like for Jay? And I'm taking Jay because he's the active mm -hmm. artist amongst all of us. Do you like Jay to bring you a beat and then you go, nah, the vocals need to be here, you need to do the ad libs like this, you need to do this, you need to do that? Or do you like Jay to come in and you make a beat and then you you say, yo, I made this beat, put you in mind, I need you to do this, and then you construct it from there on out? Yeah, definitely that second one, that second version. That me, you know. I'll have a few sessions with them at first just to kind of fill out their their sound overall, like their vibe. Then I'll go home. Or some, it's kind of rare doing the, the beat live in the studio. Um, but, you know, I've done it before. But mostly, yeah, I'll do that, what you just said on the second part, just letting them come in, do their own thing first, kind of fill them out, see, like, what kind of sound they are. And if I feel like their sound jumps at me or if we connect on a certain level, then, I, you know, I'll go make a beat or two, three, whatever, a little pack. And we'll pick them out. I'll, I'll bring them in, and we'll pick them out. Or you know, before I even bring them, I'll call them, or I'll send them a, a, that little two, three pack. And yeah, I'll, I'll they'll pick one. We'll agree on one or two. And then I help them construct it. Like yo, nah, I think you know, boom, boom, vocal here, hook here, you know. But you know, some artists they don't really need that. You know, some they they kind of they got it already. Like so, you know, like sometimes cool. what I'm already thinking, they they already got it. For the disclaimer, we're talking about packs of beats. Yeah, I'm right. No, I'm on the show. No packs we're of dope. Talking about packs of beats. <laughs> packs of beats. We're not talking we're about the drugs. Show. Packs. Mm -hmm. Just saying. I know I'm here, but no, we're talking about packs of beats. Just yeah, so for sure. Know. I'm gonna need at least like four packs of beats, and I'll bring the money to an undisclosed location. <laughs> <laughs> nah, bro. You, not doing it. you don't fuck up. I know I'm on the show. 
government, I'm, I'm telling you, I'm retired. I'm telling you. See what had happened was. Stop trying to. So it, it's actually funny because I, I recently met Seiko probably about maybe six months ago, maybe a little bit less. And um, most random thing happened. My, my girl's younger brother, who's my bro pretty much, he was in town from Pennsylvania. He's like, yo, I'm heading up the studio, blah, blah, blah. And I pulled up to him. with I met him at the studio. It was like 1230 in the morning. And we were in that bitch till 7 a.m. Oh, First that was off. legendary. That yeah. Was, yeah. Great. It was, it was, I think BTR Chris pulled up at like 3. It was yeah. wild. And that's how these dudes work. It was like they dropped like four or five tracks and he wrote them on the spot. What? So this is a young man's game. Like when I used to go to the studio, that, that used to be the time. But now I'm in bed by 11 p.m. I was, I was on the couch. <laughs> sleeping. I was, I was on the couch slump by like 3.30, bro. It was like 3.30 in the morning. And I'm like, uh, like, because I, I I remember those all, all night you know studio sessions, but like I said, I, I couldn't even desire to do that. Well, you Didn't know, I hit y'all up talking about I'm about to be in town. Hey, can we do this early? <laughs> That's what I'm saying. <laughs> that no, but for real, like, like all night yeah, studio was, sessions. I, is, I mean, a, a lot of things can come out of that. A yeah. lot of things. How many how many uh, productions you get? Oh, out, out of that night. Yeah. Well, that I was really just like kind of on the couch, like. You were a guy. You were a guy on couch. Yeah, I was networking. Yeah, I was, like, <laughs> it was like one and a half. <laughs> you did, but that one song was like pretty in depth. You nice. know what I mean? Like detailed work. You know. So yeah, it was like about one and a half. He, we finished the first one, and the second one, he got like like a hook. He got like a hook in there, and then that was the end of it. But but yeah, man, that was a crazy night. I was yeah, we we really locked in, man. We nice. Yeah, I was like, it was like four o'clock, and I, was, I found myself on the couch like I'm like I'm. Too old for this shit, bro. I can't do this. I work too hard to be up here this late. You go to sleep. Uh, I respected it though. I was like, yo, I stayed. I'm pretty sure I might have took a little cat nap, but I, tr- I stayed up most of the time, damn it. Yeah, yeah, you know what's funny is when you used to record, not you, Jay, but when people used to record with Pun, um, you couldn't sleep with him. Mm-hmm. Because if you fell asleep on the couch with Pun, he used to take your finger, take your finger, a cup of water. Well. And, Hey, never yo. did this to me. Never done this to me. Old school. He's taking his, he's taking people's finger and put it in, in or hand and put it in a warm cup of water because when you're sleeping and your hand is in warm water, you will piss on yourself. Yeah. I've seen that happen so many uh, times. Yeah, that. That's old school. <laughs> like, that's like a old. We used to do that in high school. <laughs> we used to do that to people but, at high but, school. Fun is at, fun at, is, at, at high it, school parties. Pun used to do that or give you wet dreams. Pause. Hey, yo. And he used to, and he used to take, hold Chill. on, he used to take a big ass cup of ice water and throw it in your face. You can't nice. sleep around Pun. You know, well, direct, you know, RIP Pun. Now nah, he's resting in peace. That's that crazy, man. Bro. I should go far on his grave just for all the mischief he's caused. No, I'm just saying. Shit. Bro, you could not <laughs> sleep around that man. Don't I, I already know Pun, because bro. I got a, you know, I, I got. Big Puerto Rican cousins from the Bronx, and I know how they play. They they just they bullies, bro. Yep, yeah, nope. My cousin, I'm nope. full of love, you know what I mean. But he'll punch the shit out of your arm just to, and then we'd be like, "Yo, you play too much." He'd be like, "I gotta get you tough." Nah, <laughs> <laughs> exactly. <laughs> hey, you know, show you. That's probably you. You probably do that shit. Why? Why you gotta put me in? Because you I Puerto Rican from the Bronx, man. You guys are being a little dramatic right now. Huh? We need to bring that down a little bit. You know, yeah, right. he's getting in his feelings. I, I, didn't I just tell you I'm sensitive, my nigga? Jay's getting in his feelings. You're crying over something over there. I don't know. I'm about to Get. leave this. I'm about to leave it. You know what? <laughs> I don't want to talk to you. Let's <laughs> get you guys and get him. Get you. <laughs> Go get the dude with the with the with the uh, the the beige dude with the dread. Go get him. <laughs> <laughs> the DJ envy ass nigga. Go get uh, him. Uh, I don't know. I ain't even gonna say it. Shouts out to Envy. So, Cito, <laughs> what you working on now? Man, I, it's crazy. Uh, on the way here, I was like, damn, should I even say it? But I kind of don't even want to, like, let it all out yet. But, you know. I mean, I can edit think, out. I can edit think, out whatever you think, wanted me to edit out. But, yeah, don't, don't put it down. Yeah, but, when is released? Out there just think of. the energy is not right, don't put it out there. Uh, just just yeah. think of DJ Khaled yeah. type vibe. That's funny because I. I I call Cito Tampa's DJ Khaled, and I and I mean that like without all the corny shit DJ Khaled be doing. Has said that a couple of times. Yeah. yeah, no, for sure. Cause, yeah, no, because he he's actively putting the album together with different artists and different beats, uh-huh. and I'm just waiting on my email and my text message like, yo, I got this little beat for you, Jay. But you know, you know, if 
Yo, I got a no pressure, no pressure. Now I'm gonna I'm get the still, pity beat. No, uh, here you go. Uh, here you go. Uh, I, I made this at two o'clock in the morning. I was smoking my, my no, life away. And <laughs> but for real though, like it, it's, it's it's dope to watch because he's it's like you see, you know, when you recognize like you, I'm, I would imagine when you saw Jordan play, you was like you see something, you're like, yo, this is this is something. When you saw LeBron in high school, you was like, yo, this wow. is something. And no, when I see Cito, it. when I see Cito working in the Who's studio, LeBron? I, my bad, y'all. <laughs> I should have said Larry Bird or something. I don't yeah, know. you should. <laughs> but no, no. But uh, when I when I see Cito work in the studio, I see it's like a legend in the making. Like he's he's not you know the what? legend you know yet, what, but it's like I'm gonna give you I'm gonna give you Cito. I'm gonna give you an exclusive. If you send me a beat and I fucks with it, I'll drop a sixteen on there. <laughs> So, I bet I got you. You gonna bring show out of some big some big pun type. I'll come I'll get I'll come out of retirement. I always told motherfuckers if they send me a beat that's fire, I'll come out of retirement. I'll do some bars. And then Fat Joe, I mean, um, somebody's gonna have to understand where they got their rhymes from. Oh, oh. so you used to do your thing back in back in. Your I, don't, I don't know what you're talking about. Mm. Show show got a resume, man. He was a tour DJ for numerous artists, and yeah, he was he's he's definitely got. A lot of, Shout out to Twisted T. A lot of leg in the game. If that's, Tell them to send me a saying. case. Tell Twisted T to send me a case. <laughs> I'll, I'll get it out there for you. <laughs> Those anyway. Twisted T's are dangerous. You ever see that dude smack the other dude? I think he called him the N word and he smacked the shit yeah. out of him. To the cross. <laughs> I just thought of that clip. <laughs> but, so you were going <laughs> to. See, though, you're working on an album right now that's fully production by you. Yeah, everything. It's, it's all your beats, everything. All my beats. I'll probably have like one that's not mine, but um, everything. I mean, Khaled me. has all 15 that aren't his. Right, so. right, right. I kind of just wanted to, uh, you know, like make a statement like that a little bit. You know, I know it's not really like for some kind of production like that, like a project like that. It's not, you don't got to have like everything by you, but for at least cool. for this first one, for this little, you know, I just want to make my little statement with that and then, you know, probably like. 15, so what's 16. what's your what's your what's your um what's your what's your vision on this project that you're doing? Like who do you who do you want to collab with on this project? Who do you want to bring together on this project? And where do you see this project going? I'll go straight to the last part where I see it going. I can't yeah. say a lot, you know. Yeah, just yet. Um, no, no. Announcements sure. coming, you know. But um, you got your lineup already done? Yeah. Oh yeah. yeah. Everything track list. Done, you know. I mean, until I, got... I until I just told them. Yeah, <laughs> Wait, what you mean? Nah, but it? like for real. Like, I mean, how, how many how many songs you you uh, you plan on putting on this? And what do you what do you what do you uh, want to accomplish with this with this project? Yeah, I was looking. I'm aiming for like 16, um, 15, 16. 16 no, Full 16 album. straight songs. 16. No skits. No nothing. No skits. No skits. No. Straight sixteen. Look, and see, like, I just show my age. Does anybody do skits on albums? Yeah, I, I only like the big guys, skits. like the big, you know, major guys, but not really like, you know. Yeah. I want to. I want to do a skit now on this album. I love. I love uh, doing skits. I'll be. We need I'll to do blessed. the real people off the record skit. That's definitely an old school thing because Benny the Butcher, and Griselda, and them still do that. Yeah. You know, it's probably because they from that era. Tom, I so, saw you. He, that, he, he just called us old again. <laughs> I, I know he, 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 he always calls it so damn. But Tone, I just saw your face. We need to have the real pip, real people off the record skit on this album. We could make a seventeen with you know, make a seventeen tracks. Make it be the intro to like this song no, like that, that me general. and Jay are together on. <laughs> and Jay spit the sixteen. I spit the sixteen. Tone, you out? You outside or what? I gotta hear the beat first. Nah, <laughs> we could be the real 100%. people off the record. Yo, 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 we're just real people off the record. And, and we'll put a show together. I, I felt that and statement we'll, though, because I've been in situations and we can where put they a show together. Out, and I'm like, oh lord, I gotta spit to this. Yeah. This I just fine. put, I just put two tracks on your. On your <laughs> no skit, pressure. The skit no and the uh, intro. Uh, yeah. I, I'm gonna go last though. The skit for sure. <laughs> Sure. Yeah, do something with that skit, though. No, I'll, but I'll, but a potential I'll, show is uh, especially with uh, sixteen tracks, uh, a nice lineup. Yeah, and all different. Like, yeah, it's probably like uh, one artist that's on there twice. Mm. That's about it. 
Like every, every, nice. Everything is like just a different vibe. Everything. How how do you want it to go? Ideally, what what what? Ha, well, how do you, do you want something it? to like come from this? Or you just want to put the music out and see what happens? Yeah, um, that's kind of my mindset now. I just want to see what what will happen. Um, well, not see what will happen because I kind of know already what happened. Like you know, hum, I'm you know humbly speaking, like I think it will do well. Like I think it could make some noise, you know. But uh, just to kind of see like what I'm what I'm kind of looking for just to see how it will because you know a lot goes into it you can't just drop something you got to kind of have something like some kind of like rollout idea or something mm -hmm. so you know i got that going you know I'm, I'm i'm plotting on that a little bit i'm I'm working now you know towards that like the little rollout and stuff having momentum you have any singles on it not oh yeah I'm, i am gonna have a single i'm gonna drop oh, a single but not yet just one it's mm, not yeah, probably yet. just one. No, I, I know. I know. I'm, so I'm just saying, one, like, that's what I was asking. like, one though. Yeah, I'll have one, one single before it drops completely. Okay. Type thing. Right. Um, now, now, do you do you record like yourself? Do you make any, you write music at all? And I tried it in the past, but uh, nah, it's not it was thing. like, yeah, like I had fun. I was just bored. Like, let me just try it. And I liked it. No, I like, I genuinely liked it. But it was like, uh, kind of like how E4 does it just straight, it's super time consuming. Just, punching everything because I wasn't writing like I'm not like a natural I, I feel like I'm not like a natural writer like uh, you know you know like yeah. writing so you, like, you know so you like the so you like the back end pause of, of things like you rather be on on the um you don't want to be in the fourth you rather I kind of do though because it's like with this you kind of have to I think you more like more like the but this is this is the problem I, and this is where I stand, and I'll put it on Facebook and everything. I've never wanted to be rich and famous. I wanted to be wealthy. Yeah. I don't want to be. I don't want to be famous. I just want to sure. be wealthy, because yeah. the motherfuckers that's out there that's really wealthy aren't famous. Oh, you dig what I'm saying? Yeah. So Not like, that, I don't want to be. And I stopped exhausting. rapping. I stopped rapping to be a DJ for Capone and Oviedo and other people. Because I didn't care about the thing. I just, mm. yo, pay me. I'm good with this. Yeah. Nah, for sure. Yeah, I understand that. Um, I just think that, you know, and this is all coming from, because like I said earlier, like Cali, right? Like, think of Cali, you know? Like, I just kind of follow his blueprint a little bit because, you, you, like, in a sense, you know, I'll be an artist. You know, I'm not behind the mic, but right. I'm like an yeah. artist in a sense, too. So it's okay. like, it's like an orchestra. Yeah. And they're all singing, they're doing, and you're just like, bah, tight. Bah, yeah, bah, exactly. Low and cut. Yes. Yeah, that's yeah, exactly. Yeah. So he's, yeah, I know what you mean. You don't want to be in the back. But yeah, you I'm not. Yeah, you yeah. You want to be more so direct. He's the, the maestro. Yeah, directing. the maestro. He's orchestrating the maestro. orchestrating and directing. Yeah, yeah. I know exactly what, yeah, I'm, he's the maestro. Gotcha. He's the that dude that gotcha. wants to be there doing the, you know, everything. But his back is towards the crowd, so he really don't want his face to be seen. But no type. He's but controlling it'll, everything. Not to cut you, but it'll kind of be where like, hey, I'm doing all this, but I'm gonna turn around to the crowd too and be like, turn up with them, like, yeah. you know what I'm saying? So like, be part so of the show showman. too. You know what I'm so saying? Be part of the show too. You know what I mean? I like, hi, get with them, yo. Like, yeah, I go up and then turn it back, yo. Make sure we on point. Like, put my back again. Mm -hmm. it. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, like, yeah. kind of mix of both. You know so But I just think. Uh, like that's part of like in today's like media world like especially music you have to have something that will like gravitate towards like have a story like so you know I always thought that like high school like college like yeah I'm gonna do, be the super producer I'm gonna be behind the scenes I don't even want the fame blah, 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 like but as I as I'm as I kept growing in this industry like and and you know having more and more an experience meeting more and more people that's like way higher than me in the industry, like I started noticing like, yo, to really like make something happen, like to really uh, make people, uh, you know, connect with you and like give, like get their attention, really, you got to really uh, like build a brand, have a, build a brand, have a story with you behind it. Like ha they want to see you like have, you know, something going on where they like show some, uh, some humor a little bit, like just have something going for you, not just, you know, uploading and no, didn't I'm not knocking any other producer that does that, but you know, just kind of like most of the producers now like that just make beats. They just you know upload, just have it like just have their like they'll upload a beat or two on Instagram and like yo, uh, yeah. just you know check it out. Which one is fire? But have have 
have no branding behind it, have no, you yeah. know, showing her face. They just, so that's, that's why I'm like, I kind of changed my mind on that. I was thinking like that before, like, yo, oh, do I really want fame? But now I'm thinking, you know, to really make myself like a brand and something that, something to sell to people. I just, I just figured, yo, I gotta just be, you know, more out there, more, you know. You know so, what, too? I feel like if a lot more of these producers connected more with the audience, I might be a little more inclined to not steal the beat off of YouTube. I might be like, oh, this looks like a nice guy. You know what I mean? I don't want to, <laughs> maybe I should you're just still build gonna, a relationship. You're, you're, you're still gonna steal it off YouTube. It. Yeah, I'm probably still rip it off YouTube. <laughs> oh, no. I'm going to see how that conversation go first. Like, yo, what's up, bro? Yeah. Oh, God, for sure. He ain't exactly. budging? All right, let's rip this I mean, <laughs> but the problem with, with that is, right, so you can steal it, but you can't make money off of it. So, yeah, right, right. nah, yeah. I mean, there's only so many it, places you, you can use it. You cross that bridge when the song right. when the song starts like, doing numbers. And then you say, yo, like, we're doing numbers over our, here. Let's let's make something happen, bro. I'm sorry I ripped yeah. it. Let's move forward, though. Like, what is our intro, doing? we good. We ain't got to black it out. YouTube is never going to black that out. But we see, own that. I yeah, feel like it, it, as a producer, and this is me thinking, you know, as an artist thinking for a producer, but if somebody stole my beat and it started blowing up, first off, I'd be hyped because you're going to get a little bit of a buzz off You would But two, you also have leverage on the artist because now it's like, bro, I could ask for 80-20 because you done stole my shit. And if you don't do it, I'm going to just put a cease to desist on that, on that track and that's it. You know what I mean? So, I mean, I feel like in a sense... Nah, I'm just trying to justify ripping beats off YouTube. It's not cool. Yes. It's not yeah. cool. Pay for the beat. Pay for the beat. Yeah. I don't. Pay for the beat. I don't remember. I don't remember the track. So I, I, I shouldn't really. BMI gets their money. <laughs> I, I really shouldn't. I really shouldn't jump outside like this. But there's a track that there's three well-known artists that have the same beat mm. from a producer. They all put it out on major labels. Mm-hmm. And they're all fighting right now. Well, not right now, but back in the day, they were fighting to see who really owns the rights to this production. And the producer never gave exclusivity to any one artist. Yeah, he sold it. A, a, he sold the beat, and this is again Probably we're going it. back in the day before we knew all the business of this. Yeah. Um. And like. To this day, none of those artists can play those tracks, and they don't get BMI, they don't get ASCAP, or nothing, because there are three artists, yeah. three people, or rap groups. You keep your mind. Well, how long ago was it? That um, eighties, nineties. We we're talking about mid two thousands. Oh, too new. Maybe early two thousands, mid two thousands. Yeah. Um, with stuff like that, it really depends on if whoever trademarked it, honestly, whoever trademarked it would own it, regardless if um the he well, if he the sold it. it. It went it went from I'm not gonna use the real no, yeah, artist fine. name, but let's say it went from a Jay Z to a Mob Deep, yeah, and then went to a Joe Button. You get what I'm saying? Like those are three different class of it, artists. It, honestly, and, I I think it goes to the person that he sold to it first. Honestly, no, it doesn't. It doesn't because they didn't buy the exclusivity rights to it. Yeah, if they didn't so buy the, the exclusivity. So the producer, the mm-hmm. producer is making. It depends money. on what the contract says. Yeah, so the producer is making money on all that, but but it's not being played, so there's no point. Correct. Because you're not making any money off of it. That's the problem. The the producer's not even making any money off of it. But like I said, it's not. It it really depends on what the contract says when he sold it. Nobody has exclusivity rights, and if I told y'all who, I'll tell y'all who they are. Okay, that's cool. It's crazy. It's Fat Joe. (laughs) (laughs) Nah, it wasn't Joe. Nah, usually is the case. Fuck him, but (laughs) yeah, I heard I heard Fat Joe pass on on the candy shop beat. From uh, Scott Storch, and then Fifty took it, and, he, and when he heard the track, he was like, "God damn, bro!" Shout out that, to my homeboy. But I don't think Fat Joe would have done nothing with that. No, he wouldn't have done nothing with that beat. I don't think anybody besides Fifty could have did something. No, maybe. Shout out to my homeboy Ta. I don't think so. Shout out to my homeboy Panda Shop. That Ta is coming, finally coming through. Finally, Ta, you're saying how much you wrote for this one. Shout out to the Beluga Whale. Anyway, 
We're going we gonna to get some hits on this one. Y'all, so, y'all bringing me outside for real. Producing <laughs> and engineering. Now, have you ever... This feels like a bad question to ask, but... Why? You ever been in the studio and you're like, God damn, bro. This is whack. This ain't it. <laughs> <laughs> That's a yes. You don't even have to say. I know. I know you have because I've been in the studio myself where I heard a song in my head. I'm like, all right, I go to lay it down, and then I hear my own song, and I'm like, damn, bro, this ain't it. So I know Everybody as an engineer, you. Yeah, I mean, I get that question all the time. Man. I just, you know, it happens. You know, of course, I don't like. Nah, yeah, yeah, yeah. I don't put it out there. I don't make it like. Really, I be like, let me just take my name off to... this shit. <laughs> nah, nah, nah. <laughs> I mean, it ain't my beat. I'm just, I'm work for hire at that point. Yeah, you just, just support it. But, but you, you on there as a producer? Huh? Are, aren't you on there as an engineer? No, yeah. You see, as an engineer nowadays, it's work for hire. You just, you know, yeah, you, you can't get paid no by the hour. You won't get points or nothing on the master. Or nothing. Mm, unless, you, you know, there's a different, well, okay. different, uh, you know, unless it's like some label situation or something, a certain kind of artist. But yeah, now, mm. especially what I do, work for hire. But, uh, but yeah, no, I get that question a lot. I just, you know. I just try to, you know, because uh, a lot of them, even if I feel like that, they have that energy and spirit, like they believe in it. So I'm not going, you know. Yeah. Like, I'm just right there. I'm going to make you sound as best as possible, you mm-hmm. know, let you go crazy. And, and but and they believe in it, man. Like, that's one thing I can say. Like, everybody, every artist, they believe in it. So they, Truth. You know, they. they I mean, that's a good. I, I mean, they, they need to. If, if, sure, if not yeah. them, like, who else? Like, yeah. that mama gassing them up? Like, right. come on now. Yeah. Like. They gotta have some type of confidence and whatnot. My mama ain't never gassed me up. Oh, me neither. Me neither. But at at the same point, like, I mean, if they don't have the confidence, there's no point. Why spend the money on the studio time? Why spend money on a engineer? Why spend money on a beat? Have you ever heard a beat in 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 a a rhyme that you were like, "Hmm, should I take your money or just tell me what? I couldn't hear that. You say that Have one more time. Have I heard a beat and a rhyme? Wait. So, so like, let's say, sorry, Jay, you're the artist in my stuff, so I'm gonna use you always as an example. The way you use me in tone as old motherfucker. But so, <laughs> so, um, so, so when Jay says a whack ass line, so when, when Jay says a whack ass rhyme <laughs> over a whack ass beat, and he's like, "Yo, I'm, I'm, I'm coming to you. I want to record it. Do you tell Jay that beat sucks?" That rhyme sucks, or you just go, you know what? He's paying me. Fuck it. It depends. If he's stern on it, if he's, you know, like, yo, nah, this is it, I'm going to let it rot. If, if it's kind of like, if he, if I still but feel like he's... Put, but do you put your two cents before he even says that? Most cases, nah, I won't. No. I'll be honest. I ain't going to lie. I, I, I won't. Um. So, so Jay, just so you know, he's, he's told you. <laughs> You're subpar. I'm not gonna lie. I'm my I'm my worst critic. So if he thinks it sucks, I'm already. I'm but already in his, no, if I no, know the Jay, art, if there's a different I'm, connection, you know, like Jay, you know, that's different. Like you know, if I if there's a certain connection, like because I work with like, yeah, I've, at this point, damn near like a thousand. Like I feel like I work with like damn near a thousand artists. Like at this point, like yeah. So. It depends. Like some artists, I have a different connection with, and I feel you know more vibey with. I, I will be upfront, like yo, nah. Like maybe uh, sometimes I'll think of a nice, uh, better bar or something, or a better word. Like yo, nah, I tried it, but yeah, it depends. Like how close I am, how yeah. for, how much for, we vibing, you know what I mean? Relationship, pretty much. For the record, I just want to let y'all know that hasn't listened to Jay's tracks. Jay has sent tracks in the group chat. Jay does have bars. I'm not going to... And if he didn't, I would straight up be just not even mention this right now. <laughs> Jay can cut you along. That's cool. But no, nah, Jay got bars. Shit, I, but I, I, could, I could kill a mic and I could cut a rug on the dance floor. No, I'm just playing. <laughs> but, um, yeah, like I said, who, got the whack line. <laughs> who's who's the, the biggest bars. artist that you had in your studio? That I had in the studio or that worked with me that I had a session with? Either one. Yeah, because like in your studio or you produced them? Uh, Young Boy has definitely been in the studio that I'm at, like uh, on several occasions. But before I was there, um, I actually seen clips of him in there, you know, got the plaques for it. You know, the owner was had ran his sessions. Um, yeah. This was like four or five years ago. Uh, yeah, Young Boy, how, NBA Young how Boy. How old are you? How old are you? 25. 
Jesus Christ. Damn, what's that? What's that? What's that? I should have said, let me, I should have let you guess. I'm just. Oh, 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 you thought I was. No, no, no. Look, look, I don't, I give Jay a bunch of shit just because Jay be calling me and tone old. I, I've not called the him time. old not once. If all the matter of fact, go, go back. Y'all viewers at home, we have right hours now, and hours of this. <laughs> I've never, listen, go y'all back. just, I don't know if y'all got some mental insecurity or something where y'all just read in between wow. the lines. So I, all I, all I, all I, all I got to say is lime wire. So, and they'll be like, Jay, why are you so, calling me old, so, bro? So now I'm insecure. <laughs> it's how you I'm insinuate. <laughs> So so now I'm insecure because I'm bald and you got dressed. Oh, See, you right now, bro? Like really? You really want to do this? Nah, show. You know what? I'm gonna be honest with you right now, show. I want to be like you when I grow up. No. <laughs> Ain't nobody gonna be like me. I don't want y'all to be. Like yeah, I don't want to be bald. Anyway. No. Wow. Uh, no, actually, I was bald for a period of time. You know what? I was bald. I shaved my head completely. Bit and everything. Back back to our oh. guests. <laughs> um, the show's a little bit tough. If if you can work with, let's say three artists as a producer, not as an engineer, three artists that you want to make a beat for, who would it be? Uh, man, hella people. Um, but if I choose three, 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 three only. Um. Uh, Alive, not dead. Alive, no. yeah. Um, yeah, alive. It could hmm. be, it could be new, it could be old, it could be rock, it could be anything. I don't know what you could do. I so. say, uh, I say, Bad Bunny, fire. Uh, see. automatic platinum track right there. Automatic. Bad Bunny. See, if I spoke Spanish, I'd be more on him, but. I don't speak no, Spanish. No, I speak Spanish. I'm not, I'm not even 100% fluent like that. Like, I'm like, I'm I like speak, 50, I speak 60%. a little mira mira. <laughs> that guala guala. <laughs> so, is so, so at we got yo, bad so, bunny. So hold on, Cito, Cito. Tone is looking at me like this right now because I just got married almost two years ago. Yeah. And at my wedding, there was nothing but 90s hip hop and all. <laughs> No Spanish. No, no Spanish. No, no Spanish. None. Oh None. Gosh. I'm like, so this, he don't know how to say, speak Spanish. I'm 100% Americano. I'm 100% Puerto Rican. 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 I don't speak. I don't speak it. Tone is always like, when I say, yeah, I speak it, but I don't like it. Tone is like, motherfucker, you speak it. I don't see that. Yeah, I don't either. But you probably, you understand it, right? Like, 100%, right? It's yeah, I understand it, it but yeah. I don't. Like I don't it. even understand the shit. I don't know what Bad Bunny's saying on them tracks. I, think, but I know I that think, shit's a vibe. Up on some of them, you know. The but fact you know, that you know said vibe, Bad Bunny, yeah, yeah. like, I know the said, words to the song. I don't know what the fuck they mean, said, yeah. but shit, I could be saying some crazy shit. But fuck it, it's a vibe. I but, hope I'm not saying. But I'm gonna let you. I'm gonna let you rock because Bad Bunny is like the way Pitbull. Tone. Who's that? It was for us. Get the fuck out of here. <laughs> I actually That's met what? him on multiple Mr. occasions. <laughs> I mean, we need to get Pitbull in that show we were talking about last, oh, two weeks ago. So wait, nah, we, we got Bad Bunny? Money. Yeah, too much. Yeah. Uh, Bad Bunny. Right. Bad Bunny. Tory Lanez. Free Tory Lanez. Free Tory. Um, you got to be out of jail first. Uh, so who did you have, Tory Lanez or Jordan Lucas? Who did you have? Oh, what, was there beef or something? Yeah. Oh, yeah. See, I don't even see the beef stuff like was, that. That like internet stuff. It, 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 yeah, oh, it, it, was, it wasn't like beef beef. It was like rap beef. Yeah, it, it, it was. It, I, it was that same. I was surprised. Was fire. Because I, I expected Joyner to just cook him, but I was surprised that Tory held like a little bit of weight in that battle. I, I, I think Tory Lanez right? used Telly. I think yeah. he used Telly to write his shit. I'm Wait, they was really going back at, like on yeah. songs, like for real. Yeah, yeah. I think they went like four or five rounds. Yeah, it was, it was like long nice song. Little, Tory, it, Tory it made wasn't, it. He, he let niggas know. Real serious, but it was it was it was fire. It was like that, a little. That, uh, it, it was it, it was before the MGK Eminem one. It was before that. Oh yeah. Was, yes. Okay. It was, oh, yeah, it was, it was, so it was like a little jab, or it was like. It nah, was, it was like, yo, who's rapping? But it was literally like, it was it was, it was a, a debate. A I don't know off. if it started because of it online. Was, it was a stiff off from Trinidad. You know what I mean? Yeah. Like that shit was Trinidad keeping you away. You gotta you gotta listen to all of them. I think they they went back and forth. I think they took like three days or less than that. 
to go back and forth. Yeah, it, it was, was like, like some viral internet rap battle that just got out of hand. But it, it was it was cool because it was like music. It was like no yeah, yeah. none disrespectful. It was just like yeah, bars, 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 yeah. bars. People always like that. Even with them beefs, like yeah. we because we, we get the best that that hardcore that mm-hmm. real bar for bar. Like I remember when Drake and Pusha was oh my god, yo, like, that shook the world. Like I ain't heard Drake rap like that. Like shh. nah, but Pusha Drake body and Pusha. Yeah, Drake and really? Pusha. And Pusha T. You don't yeah, remember he dropped that crazy. song? Was, He's like remember, I'm just... talking about his son, Adonis. And was, Hiding yeah. his kid from the wood. <laughs> oh, my God, bro. When Pusha dropped that joint and then Drake was crying after that, I was like, oh, damn. Pusha, like, I can see Drake doing that. Pusha went and, went and hired an investigator or something. And, and that is why Canada is fucking on fire. on fire right now because Drake said, fuck all y'all rap niggas from the U.S. Mm. Damn, nah, but well, yeah, I seen that. Anyway, like, yeah. we 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 heard two of y'all. Where, where's the third one? Oh yeah, the third one. Tory Lanez, Bad Bunny. Now, would he that, do a rap is, or, or, way, or would he do his R and B stuff? That is so separate. Tory Lanez and Bad Bunny. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Nah, yeah for sure. Super super singing, separate. Bro, so is Tory Lanez singing or rapping? Both. Okay. Bad Bunny, both. Like, <laughs> <laughs> he, 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 he All right. Rap too. Damn, third one. Um. While you think about that, do you think you have right now in your arsenal a beat for Bad Bunny and Tory Lanez? Yes, for sure. Mm. But I think about it so hard because, like, yeah, I listen, I tune in every now and then to like mainstream stuff, but I'm so tuned in. Like, I, I see the potential. Like, I feel like I'm already working with like these super huge artists already. You're working with them. Like, I'm already working with like like A-listers already, like that's how I feel, like, you know what yeah. I'm saying, E4, like, I feel like he's like, like, I feel like he is, I walk in a, with a celebrity when I walk in with dude, bro. I, like, literally. Yeah, yeah, nah, mm-hmm. little bro do got an energy about him. Like, it, it makes me proud, bro, like, just seeing... working with, like, just, like, the songs I can make with him, like, yo, we could, this is like some billboard stuff, like, it's just, you know, so tucked away, nobody really know about it, it's like diamond in the rough type, but. Well, a lot of it's political. Like just getting that yeah. stuff out there, uh, especially on those billboards and stuff. You got to get like, yeah. I mean, how are you planning on distributing uh, your stuff when you do release that? Album? Yeah, major DSPs, you know, yeah. get a little, like this real kid, tune core, um, something like that. Just register talk, it. Talk to him before you leave. Trust me. Huh? What is it? Talk to him before you leave. You said to talk to Tony before you before you spread about that. You got, oh, okay, you got okay, keys. okay. You got some talk, keys. Talk to him before you leave. Trust me. Um, so now what type of like, are, do you have like merchandise that you're also going to do with that stuff? I plan on doing that. Yeah. Okay. That I plan on. Yeah. Um, I was just trying to get the, like the, the songs mm-hmm. created first and then how many got laid down already? Uh, I have like three more left. So nice. it's like out of 16. Yeah. Out of 16, I have three more left to record and but it, all the beats are ready. You seen Tone took a t- Tone took a sip like bro. I told you I got bars. What's up? <laughs> <laughs> now the dope part about the album too is that you, you got this, all these you different want artists. This, you want this you Atlantic City flow or not? Nah. <laughs> so once you tap into all these different 16, 15 different artists, like separate fan bases, bro. Yes. It, it's like you're funneling all these fan bases right to you, bro. Correct. Like if a, if the promotions oh, and mm-hmm. everything is done properly, I ain't properly, think about it like, I yeah, about it like that. Everybody's I'm telling you, bro, and 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 that's why I say when I seen when I went into, like, I'm getting goosebumps, bro, like real shit. That's because you're shit. cold. Nah, nah, I'm <laughs> hot. I'm literally hot. I got sweat on my body. But nah, uh, yeah. <laughs> real shit. When I see him work, when I was with him with with my my bro E4K and, and and we was in there and then BTR Chris pulled up and I was like I was like I'm like yeah this is. These are the studio sessions I, I want to be a part of, you know what I mean? Even if I'm just a fly on the wall, you know what I mean? Like, I, I like that shit because it's like, like I said, it's like seeing LeBron James in high school. No, it's like... Not for sure. Like seeing them, like, you know, knowing that they got that eye test. Like... Yeah. If looks could kill, Tony D would have murdered me right now. <laughs> I, I was, Yo, if I you was, can't it, tell, these, these Tone, dudes hate LeBron. Tone, hate LeBron. I'm, I'm going to buy something for you. Every Jordan, time right? he brings um, up LeBron James, you can just throw at him. That won't hurt him. <laughs> just, what's the it's knock just on LeBron? Nah, you see, I'm gonna talk about it. I'm gonna t- we're gonna <laughs> we, we're gonna talk about this. Nah, nah, nah. We ain't gonna talk about this. Nah. All right. It's we can talk, still we can talk about it after after the show. Boy get no. What, 2011 finals. What the because old? Because I want I want to know I want to know what you think about what you're saying too. 
maybe he gives a See, they don't even want to say his name. But, See, like, I want to know about what he think about who you mentioned. They don't yeah, even, I, don't, it's like, I don't know. I don't know LeBron's like Voldemort to these guys. Like, they I don't, don't even want to speak his name. Guy. I don't know that guy. Anyways, back to the music before we completely go Voldemort, away. you're giving him way too much. So Harry Potter, he's, all be, right. he's not on Voldemort's level. He's like Snape or something. <laughs> <laughs> Dies by a snake. For that third person, I'll give you no cap. I still didn't. I ain't give you that third person. No, no cap. Y'all know, y'all know him? Y'all heard of him? No cap? No. Nah. Mm. He's like a young boy huh. type. He's, he's huh. under that umbrella, like that sound. Like Where he from? He's from Alabama, if I'm nice. not mistaken. Alabama. Yeah. Alabama, yeah, yeah. He on a label? Yeah, yeah. Cool. He's uh I think Atlantic, I believe. Mm. I think. Mm. Yeah. I wonder. Fire. Yeah, he's a really? big guy. He's yeah, he's pretty I'm no, pretty well known. I'm sure I'm, I'm sure if I heard his joint or like a few of his hot joints, I'm probably not all of them, but I'm sure I'd recognize so, yeah, yeah, yeah. Just to give y'all because y'all know Is it no like cap two guys. words or one? Two words. No, 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 no. I'm I think a, it's I'm one. A, I'm gonna tell you real quick. His his name is No Cap. His real name is Kobe, Kobe Crawford Jr. Um, he was born in 1998. 1998. Um, he's from Mobile, Alabama. Nice. And uh, should be his Atlanta. name is No Cap. No Cap dot com. If you want to find him on his website, I'm gonna check him out. Um, Shout out No Cap. Yeah, I never. And yeah, he's 24 young. years old. Yeah. Hmm. Like that young boy vibe, like that sing rap, you know, like super melodic. You know, and, it and jumps if y'all want to, if y'all want to get like you know, I I do regular. Yeah, we all have phones. So <laughs> no, I'm just saying. <laughs> hey, speak speak for yourself. No, I'm just playing. But, um, <laughs> I'm off the grid. He's you know every no every artist that he's connected to is uh uh YFN uh Luch, mm. um Young Boy. Never been, never broke again. Young yeah. boy, never, never heard of him. Yep. NBA young Polo boy. G, Polo G and, and Lil Durk. Free Polo Those G. Those are the artists he's connected. No, no, Polo G is free. Connected. And the Chef G. Yeah, free Chef. Those mm-hmm. are the artists he's connected yeah. to. Hurt. Mm-hmm. Sleepy Hollow and Chef. That's the, oh, I don't really fuck and, with a lot of drill and, rap. And, and, and Mr. Kodak Black. Mm. Shout out to my boy to Kodak. Yak. Mm. Now I want to take it back a little bit. So you said you're from New York. And I guess this might be a two-part question. Mm-hmm. First part, I just want to get out of the way just because I'm curious. What part of New York? The X, baby. Hey, Bronx. Make what, what part of the Bronx? Uh, Allerton. Okay. Okay. Yeah. All right. Allerton. Is that like, I, I want to say like over in the direction of Gun Hill? Around there. I think so, yeah. yeah. I, I moved when I was, I moved to Florida. I was like eight. Ah, uh, okay, so okay. So it's kind of, but I mean, I went every, like every summer. Yeah. It's well, been a it's, it looked too. like when I every summer I went back though it almost looked like kind of like the the nicer part of the Bronx. I don't know if you would say that too or like yeah, it was like the night. Like no, I mean, no. I don't know if it's not really a nicer part in the Bronx. Like yeah, no, I know X what you mean. Is, it's you know, a little more upkept. It's probably newer, newer. You know what I mean? Like yeah. yeah so um, but yeah, that part definitely. For sure. All right. So second part of that question, and it's really just a whole separate question. I don't even know why I called it a part two, but uh, really, I, I just want to know what inspired you like was there a moment was there a beat was there uh, uh, somebody who influenced you what made you want to do music what made you want to produce what made you like fall in love and and, and inspire this journey that you're on now um what song what song question. you heard that made you fall in love with it if that or even a moment or just like um I, it's hard to say like one song but it was just like uh like just constantly hearing stuff that I like, man. Like from a young age in high school, like you know, I used to do like uh, like senior year, like I was like the go-to guy for like you know to DJ sometimes, like in high school parties, like bullshit. Like, Are you banging on the desk in class and shit like? Yeah, that? sometimes. Yeah, I ain't gonna lie. Yeah, that yeah, for I sure. With the pencil, yeah, yeah. pencil yeah. break. Next I used to one. get them nice with it back. All that, the hi hats, like yeah. all that with the yeah. Uh, How to do that? I used to love doing that, that Buster Rhymes. <laughs> so simple, so easy, but yeah, so yeah, fire. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You know what I mean? Also, beats were harder to make back then. Yeah. <laughs> oh, yeah. You got to program it different. Yeah. Yeah. I was listening to, uh, what's his name from uh, Cash Money, the producer. I can't think of his name right now. But he was like, he was like, bro, back in the day, we only had eight sounds. He's like, try to make a fire beat. You only got eight sounds you can use. Eight sounds to make the whole beat. I'm like, yeah, 
that's a little crazy. Mm-hmm. What, Bangladesh or something? Uh, well, well, no, it was uh, a lot of times we just recorded sounds like out, out, like out and about, like, a, like we see, we see a metal trash can, bang, we just we pop that a couple times, or on a fucking on a wall, hollow sound, pop. And that's pretty much how we started making our beats, just rec- just sampling all that stuff. That's, I mean, I don't know. That's where we started. Oh, so you were making music, like mm-hmm. per- making beats also? Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Yeah, okay, okay. Mm-hmm. That's cool. Yep, Fruity Loops. Fruity Loops. Fruity Loops. Shout yeah. out to the Fruity Loops. Loops. I think everybody that's started with Fruity Loops. Because mm-hmm. yeah. I feel like that's just the most popular. Fruity Loops won. <laughs> one, yeah, that's OG. OG, OG. Got that back when, back when they used to. Hey, 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 wait, wait, whoa, 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 whoa. This was we don't be putting out your business like that. So wait, I, wait, I don't pirate bullshit. nothing now. All right. So, now. This was back when they used to. This was back when they used to send you the. Because you're rich. Shut up. Now you don't do it because you're rich. You're rich. I work for a living, motherfucker. You heard show. This was back when they used to send you the internet on a CD and it said AOL 1.0. You know what I mean? I've never, I've never been on that level. All right, that one was my first official jab because y'all say that I, I that was that one was you, on purpose. Bro, that, is that one not was on purpose. First official nah, jab. all the other ones were accidents. <laughs> that one was on purpose. You you've been throwing no. haymakers. Out. Uh, you've been throwing again, <laughs> for real. Again, again you want you, you I would you say haymaker, maybe a stiff jab. You gotta, yeah, stiff you gotta one. understand, Jay. Tone, cut this and. <laughs> Go to every clip that Jay has called us over. If I had the time and no, we got highlight reel, <laughs> like, that actually might be funny. But I promise you, it's never intentional. It's really just me talking. You talking shit. You just a shit nah. talker. You just can't like. <laughs> you're a natural shit talker. Y'all ask me a question. That's that hip hop. That's that. <laughs> anyway, Crazy. what were we talking about? <laughs> so we got three artists that you would want to work with. Yeah. If you could team up with any producer mm-hmm. and make a beat. Oh, nice question. Yeah. Um, Tough question. Only one, though. Yeah, too many Ooh, producers right. on one beat would just call it. Two, yeah, sure. that's yeah. Just one, just one, not three. Just uh, one producer. One that sticks out to me right away. I don't know if y'all heard of him, uh, like Foreign Tech. He's like, he makes mm-hmm. Spanish and. He started mm-hmm. out in hip hop. Yo, you and this meet up, meet up bullshit. <laughs> yeah, that's crazy. Wait, nah, that's what, what's the percent? You say though. you're seventy five percent what? Seventy five percent dramatic. That's what the fuck he is. That's yeah. crazy. <laughs> nah. Yo, I'm gonna coin I'm gonna coin this term right now for show oh, and for man. people oh, like here show. We go, here we go. I'm, I'm gonna call you because you always say I'm the blackest Puerto Rican. I'm gonna call you African. You African. That's fine. Yeah, I'm gonna it. make a shirt right yeah. now. African. That's fire, bro. Hey, listen. Shirt, hey, let me know. You might put that online. My you might wife, have to trademark the it. The crazy, the crazy part is my wife's production company for a movie company is called Black Latina Movie. Hmm. There you go. You gotta follow up with African. That's, that's her. Mm-hmm. Yeah, that's her shit. Shout out to my wife. She don't watch this. So I know in the beginning of the show you were talking about uh, helping artists find their sound. Now, when they come to you, are they like a blank slate do they have talent and then they come to you and like uh, when they try to formulate an album do like you have like okay this is what you sound like this is what we can you know do for you or this is you know what i advise you or you know what beats that you need to stay on like is that that that's kind of like a um, so i know there's some fast rappers or slow rappers and yeah, hesitant ones right 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 yeah because some come in you know like that are pretty relatively new at it they just still, yep. you know they might be looking for some insight, a little more insight, yo, which kind of direction. Yeah. If I hear the potential in them and they have like a nice voice or something like that, you know, I'll definitely like try to give them more insight. But and how many deliveries have you changed? <laughs> deliveries? What do you mean? Like, like when, a, you know, every rapper has a different delivery. A rapper, a rapper goes in and goes, da 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 you should say yes or when someone's like a, a deeper voice they're like or when someone's a higher voice or when someone wants to be tougher like or if somebody screams like, like yeah. Yeah. Mill, that was a good dmx you know what's crazy <laughs> I don't that was even, good <laughs> really? 
When no. they're Meek uh, scream, yo. Yeah, nah, I've been in the Meek studio with Meek. Meek screams at the fucking top of his lungs, <laughs> and it's annoying. <laughs> nah, but yo, they love that shit in Philly. If you've ever been, yeah, they, yeah, they oh, do. Oh, oh, they that's the crazy. I would be in Bethlehem because, but they don't because Beanie don't rap like that. Mm. Nah, for sure. No, nope. but Meek wants you to feel his energy yeah, though. Yeah, like that's yeah. the difference. Like he's one of them. Like he, you feel it. Like when he rapping, it, it can be you know, it don't even gotta be crazy bars, but he got that. Yeah, yeah, I so like, even if I like to, it, I like, like yo, you can work out today, like yeah, listening nah, to him. You know what I mean? Aggressive like, rapper for sure. You I'm, got I'm really bro. staying silent right now, but name one time you girls had crazy bars. Oh, you bugging? I, I don't See, listen to Meek for four bars. Intro. <laughs> See, I don't, I don't that listen intro. to Meek for. I, yeah, you know I, I that, listen to him for his energy. Meek Mill intro. I like how excitable he is. No, I like all that. Hold on, wait a minute. I need to. I need to. I need to understand. Pull up in that ass and they thought it was rented. I need to understand when Nick Mills had crazy bars. Nah, Please. he's, he's, he's fire, bro. He's Look at his, you know what? bro. He's had fire you know bars you, since he was skinny. If you can't do it right now, me, somebody, in the com- somebody in the comments that's watching this podcast, please put me on. You don't, you don't listen. If you want to see Meek Mill bars, type in Meek Mill Battle Rap Philly, and you'll see him old, young on the block, sixteen year old with these dusty yeah. ass braids with on his head. With the dusty braids, yes, yeah. but fire. since he's been on, Sips. that's what got him on. That's what got Cassidy on, and I'm Cassidy's sorry. still watch. Yeah, he probably got on for like his energy more so. Yeah. Because he's not, I wouldn't consider, even though I'm like a young guy, like, you know, I would consider him like a super lyricist. Like, he just got Hell the energy. No. You could tell that Philly, you know, he just got the good energy. Like, yeah. he, like no, that no. struggle rap, like, rags to riches type, you know what I mean? Like, that's really him. Like, he don't come, he don't, it's, it's never giving, like, it's really a rock story. Yeah. He's like rap's Rocky Balboa, really, on it. In Philly. You know what I mean? I mean, he's he's hype. Like he's he got the type of music that I listen to that he just he's he's the fucking flavor flavor of new age. He ain't saying shit. Oh man, shows Hell shows no. going for that Charlemagne <laughs> seat for sure. He does Bro, want that Charlemagne. Name a bar that name look, a bar that look. name a bar that uh, Meek Mill said that was like good. Like I said, I don't listen to him for bars. I listen for his hype. His excited, hey, excitement. Point, exactly. I, I didn't listen to Flavor Flavor for that. But if I was to ask everybody right now on this panel, <laughs> yeah. uh, Cito, Jay, and, and, and uh, Tone, if I was to say, yo, name a uh, 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 Jada Kiss bar, name a uh, uh, name, uh, 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 Jay Z bar. Well, uh, they, they were known for bars. Uh, yeah, but Jada Kiss is like probably the number but one. That's my point the world. exactly. You gotta go with what sells, and what sells for Meek is is, is excitement and fun, and that's how we. All right, you know. So so let's take Jada. Let's take, he, let's take, lyrical. Let's take, the Phil- let's take the Philadelphia. Can you name a B single bar that was that was popping? I ain't gonna lie to you, bro. I like Beanie. Like I like said, I met him on multiple I'm occasions like too. Me too. <laughs> I'm not gonna lie to you. I know I, he liked that though. I, I know ain't he really got listen to a lot. Of I, I think it was more his flow. His, uh, like I, I mean, I listen to his hits. You know what I mean? But like, I never really look for beans. You can name Cassidy bars even on Hotel with R. Kelly when they were molesting little girls. Oh, like shit. you nice. can fucking you can name you can name Cassidy doing that shit on there too. But you see, I was never a fan meek. of Cassidy. I, 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 I'll be never, honest, never but, was. But I bet you, I bet you, you'll be able to name a Cassidy bar Probably. that is better than Meek's bars. Probably. Yeah, wasn't they beefing right. too? That's Cassidy and point. Meek at meek, one point. Meek Cassidy was beef with bars. everybody. No. Meek <laughs> has bikes. He don't got bars. Yeah. Yeah. But. Go ahead. Like I said, I'm sorry, Jay. Uh, Philly's Jay's a, looking at me like, yo, he's coming. From look, India. Philly's a different animal Listen, too. You, you're picking a fight with Philly, and Philly don't play about. They don't. They don't play about me. You know By what I'm saying? Way, so listen, I'm Philly, I stand New, with I'm, Philly. Hey, we got I'm one from, from Philly York. right here. I'm from New York. Yeah, I'm oh, from shit. New York. You see him over here, bro? I'm from I'm from New York, but I live in Baltimore. Anybody in Philly want to come holler at me? Come holler. Let's go. Yeah. 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 No. <clears throat> he's turned up. Because you know yeah, that sh- that show is wild. Like like you, you just excited as motherfucker. You get it's his fucking low is everything. Yeah. His delivery and you know he got them bars that I'm telling you they in there, bro. You just he, he just got you him. vibing. Yeah. He's got to, I mean, so who, vibe to who would be who would be the best uh, uh, bar person out of Philly? Kevin Hart. Oh well, nah, he would need the energy. Like, if he, you mean like if he didn't have that energy, like no, that. Like, 
Oh nah, he wouldn't have no. a hit. He wouldn't have one that a club plays all the time. Like no. to this day, every club play gonna play that intro. Yeah. yeah. Without that, you know, and he really Kevin don't got Hart, one. Kevin, I've been... Hart, Kevin Hart has the most bars out of Philly. Nah, oh, shit, crazy. I don't know. Will Smith in was pretty movie, good. In the movie, Will show. Smith was pretty good. It's show versus Philly right now. <laughs> hey, <laughs> no, did, did you hear the Will Smith <laughs> on the Jordan jo- jo- Lucas joint? You, you didn't hear Will Smith on the Jordan Lucas joint? Isn't isn't that the one that uh she wrote? For, uh, no, uh, he he did it on Smith? telly. He did it on telly. Oh, he used the app. He used the app to do it. But that shit was. I'm just saying. They, they, just saying. Bro, Meek is not. Meek is yelling and doing Papa Willies. He's not popping balls. Is it? Is it Memphis Bleak from there too? No. Where's he no, from? No, no, no. Memphis. No. He's from Brooklyn. Okay. Memphis Bleak. No. <laughs> no, because he because he like, signed with. No, no, because because no, 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 I remember no. him and Beanie did something. There are a lot of shit together. How did we yeah, even, yeah, how did we even get here, bro? Part of the same group. No, I I know, but like Beanie was stayed in Philly, so I figured Memphis went there too. Was it was that part of his three that he was listening? It was that he named the third one was Meek Mill? Or, I don't. Know. Uh, I don't know how we got to Meek. And, I, I don't remember. I don't know how we got to Meek. Just, yeah, we just, <laughs> went way off. It was a deep. It was a deep. Down I hate me. Philly. Sorry, me. <laughs> Sorry, me. <laughs> Yo, Philly's a wild place, bro. Which it I, is. I it is. In, Philadelphia. I, w- I walked into a Chinese store in Philly, like Why? Chinese restaurant. You know, you know what the it, crazy part? They were selling milk. Everything is? They had cigarettes. They had Chinese food. It was a corner store bodega. and a Chinese Which one of the bodegas? No, nah, that's not a bodega. That's different. That's something you want to Nah, it's, it's not a bodega in Philly or Baltimore, bro. Yeah, it's, it's different tone. It was wild. I mean, I, you, know what, you know what I, I just had bodegas over there? Like, there's no corner store Yo, like New I York walked, Philly. I don't, I'm no, sure they no, do no, got, no, no, but what I'm it's telling you is cool I food. walked into a Chinese restaurant going to get some Chinese food, and these motherfuckers had tobacco, milk, yeah. groceries. It was a it well, was all in, were, were you in Chinatown? Like I mean, were you in Chinatown? That, I was like, I was like do downtown Philly. In, in, yeah. In the Bronx too, yeah, we, Atlantic City, we had a lot of that. But, not the same. but I lived in uh, Center City in Philadelphia, and I lived above the pizza place in Chinatown. Like, it was a pizza place. In Chinatown, and then man. Why'd you say Chinatown so racist? I lived in Chinatown. He said Chinatown. He said it, he said it like Chinatown. Right. No, 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 no. Chinatown. Tom said it like you don't got a ting. Just so you know. A what? <laughs> you don't got a ting. You said that like you don't got a ting. A tan? A ting. Like a tan. Chinatown. You pale, you pale motherfucker. Oh, a tan. Oh, a tan. Oh, yeah, I'm white. What's your point? That's why I, I said white. you said it like I you white. Know, you got a little you, bit of Cuban you in said, your name. You said it like your name is Kevin. <laughs> it's Peter, okay? It's Peter. <laughs> Shut up. Shouts out to China. No, I love me Chinatown. Like, I, I lived there for, I think, two years, and fucking, I loved it. Yeah, so, I had the best Chinese food ever. What? Ever to. Are you, are you working towards anything with the music? And what I mean by that is, like, are you working towards some sort of label deal where you want to be a producer for a label? Are you, you just want to be indie? Are there, do you have major goals that you're trying to obtain other than this album that you're willing to talk about? I don't want you to put it, put it all out there if you don't want to. You know what I mean? Um, yeah, definitely. So, of course, I wanted to see what this project that I'm going to do, do. Is this your first project? Ever, yeah. Like, I, I don't got a single out or nothing yet. Right. Nothing, nothing just yet, you know. I'm just trying to. So, yeah. So to to piggyback on Jay's uh, question, my bad, Jay. But with this being your first project that you're trying to put out there, what's your and again, my bad, Jay. What's your um, end game on this? Like, do you want people to come to you as a producer? Do you want people to come to you as an engineer? Do you want people to come to you as like um um I can put projects together and put certain people with certain people and make a great project. Like what's do you want to make like Cito records? You know what I mean? Like what what is your end game? Yeah, that's kind of what I'm aiming for too. Like down the line, just like make you know some kind of like label or team or movement or something. Like it won't be Cito Records. Like, you know, I already got, like, something in mind, like, for a name or something, you know what I mean? So I have a name, you know, but I'll be kind of like the main, you know, kind of like a like a Diddy almost, like a, like, well, he did with Bad Boy, like, get, like, you know, fine talent like that, you know what I mean? Like, from out of nowhere, different places, and, and like, find something that they might not see in themselves, 
and just make a record, crazy record, you know what I mean? And bring the best out of them, you know, and just go about talent like that. Yeah, definitely something like that. Um, mm. Yeah, definitely, definitely have my own, like a bad boy type, you know, have a crazy lineup, crazy record, you know, like. Yo, you're going to blow up and you're going to change your name three times like Diddy. I already see it. So you're going to be. Cito Smooth coming nah, up. It's coming soon. Nah, Cito Smooth. Gosh. <laughs> Cito Suave. Yo, I got a, I got a it's crazy, crazy. I got a crazy question. I, I not a crazy crazy question. I got a crazy story about Diddy. So my uncle um was a big prominent person. Y'all yeah, read between the lines in my life. And uh I don't know how Diddy to read can't, Diddy can't huh? <laughs> Diddy Diddy came to the block and try to sell him tickets on a show they were having for this new company called Bad Boy. And he owed my uncle money for whatever reason. And um, my uncle was like, I don't want your fucking tickets. I don't care about your artists. I don't care what the fuck you're doing. I want my money. I want my money. And my uncle chased him around the fucking car. I was probably maybe 12, 13 years old. I remember my uncle chasing him around a car in a 120 foot, uh, 120, uh, 125th Street projects on Wagner Ave. And he was chasing my, was, my uncle was chasing Diddy around the car. And I was just like, yo, who's that? Like after, you know, Diddy ran off. My uncle goes, some nigga that thinks he's going to be big in the music industry. You got to eat his, you got to sit on that L. <laughs> <laughs> Should have built with him. You know, you know him. what the tickets, you know what the tickets is for? One of Big's first concerts with Craig Mack, like uh, all of them. Official bad and boy. Tried, Damn. Yeah. And my uncle was supposed to be one of the first like investors in, I guess, bad boy. Um, and yeah. Hmm. My uncle was chasing this motherfucker around the car. That's crazy. Oh. Was it a lot of money? It wasn't. It like wasn't $20 or something? It was just, <laughs> nah, it wasn't $20. It was probably like $2,500 or some stupid shit. 5K but or something. It was like, and, 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 and you know what? Diddy, you didn't have nothing to do with this, but it was like Diddy's boy that owed my uncle money, and then Diddy came was like, yo, let me put this in perspective for you, and you know, we can settle this, and and my uncle was just like, motherfucker, I don't know who you are. Like, you're you're a soft as, you know, whatever. And yeah, I remember it, bro. I remember it. I I have so many memories, like same projects. Um, it was ice cream truck that pulled up. Um, nine, uh, six motherfuckers pull out, bunch of girls. All of a sudden, I, I hear go method, go method, go, me-, and I'm like, who the fuck are these motherfuckers? And I'm in the background of the ice cream video. Well, I'm like 11, 12 years old, and that's the first time I met like Ghostface, Spray, and all of them. And now I work with them, you know, I do certain things with them, but like just being in the projects like that is just. It's just it's memories you can't you know, yeah you get what I'm saying yeah yeah for sure hmm. that's now, crazy shout out it sounds like you did a lot of work you know back in your day man you did some DJing oh, and see now now you, you know some me people old. see <laughs> here we go nah I read it like that <laughs> you see what I'm saying bro like <laughs> it's <laughs> like it just, it just you know what I'm everything's a jab with these guys man. Uh, no, I'm just playing. What do you mean, these guys? Well, I should I shouldn't say I shouldn't say back in your heyday, you know. I, put, I, put I know you're still going strong right time. now, you know. You still okay. adding. Uh, I put I put my time in. I've done some things. I've been in clubs since I was 13. Mm. Okay. Mm. That's what's up. So Cito, what you got going on right now that you want to shout out? Man, I, uh, yeah. the artists I'm working with now, you know, that I work with that I, you know, I, that I see the I, most potential in. Yeah. BTR Chris, Evo K, uh, Nick Starks, yo, shout, shout out, out, man. Um, Jay just chilling. Oh yeah, of course, Jay just chilling. Oh, of God. course, of course. Um, BW one one K, uh, Plain Jane, uh, 
man. Uh, O.A. Mark, uh, I'm just going crazy right now. These are just my guys, man. Just in the lab with them, like, all the time. Look who finesse. Ill Traits, Ellie Gold, like, just, yeah. Uh, who else? Well, yeah, man. Those, as of re recently, those are fresh in my head right now, you know. I know there's a lot. There's a lot more I'm missing, but. It's all good. I'm fresh in my head right now, man. So, I, got, I, got a, I got a question for you. You ever been what in the else? studio? Because you know, you know, rappers like to run wild a little bit. Yeah, I've, I've even noticed that there's a sign in in executives. So shouts out to executive studios. Where, where if you try to pull up on seat though, that's where you gotta go. For sure, for sure, studios. man. Clearwater. There's a sign in there that says, "Uh, guns must be checked or no guns allowed." Some shit like that. Yeah. Has there? I'm assuming that that sign is there because something happened. But has there ever been any situations where you're like nah, sketched out? Nah, like, I don't, I don't want you to throw nobody nah, under the bus or anything like that. Nah, I don't know. Nah, 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 nah you never been in the studio bro. where somebody's in front of the camera. Nah, we, we don't, we, we don't talk. We don't. I mean, yeah, if they shoot, but they, I told them unload it. They'll, like, they'll, they'll unload, you know what I mean? Like, but nah, nothing, you know. Yeah, because I'm not going to lie. Because I wanted to get into the whole engineer stuff too back in the day. And that was my problem. I do not like people in my house. I mean, you don't have that problem because you in the official studio. Right, right, right. But like, I would always think like, yo, the people yeah. that I want to do work with are some some pretty sketchy people sometimes. Mm -hmm. You know, not all of them, but you know, some of them is like, yo, I know this guy stuck up a guy or two. You know what I mean? I'm yeah. not I'm not allowed at Hot 97 for reasons. So we're not gonna talk about his, you know, people not being able to. to I mean, look at Wu Tang. They they stuck up the uh, Bobito Stretch show. He's like, yo, you gonna play some Wu Tang? They pulled up the, the thing. He's like, you gonna play some Wu Tang? Then we here. <laughs> 90s hip hop for real, where we ran down on DJs, and I'm one of the DJs. Just so you know, that's funny. I always, I always wanted that because that's one of the things that that kept me from really opening my, I guess, I mean, well, really, me and my cousins, we all lived together young, and we had a studio, and I, I ain't like, I ain't like people in my personal space. Mm. I always wondered about you're that. So you're not supposed to put people in your personal space if you don't trust them. Yeah, absolutely. And that's extra, my problem. Extra so. selective. Mm -hmm. Choosy, who you got? On. So like with the studio y'all in right now, and I'm I'm willing to go I'm willing to go outside and say, if Tone didn't trust who you bring into the table, Jay, or whoever is bringing today, even me, he would be like, all right, cool, just tell him, you know, chime in through Zoom. The only mm -hmm. reason I'm chiming in through Zoom is because, or you know, whatever, is because I'm out of state. But July twentieth, I will be in a studio. We gonna set it off a little something different. I'll be in the. We'll be in the new studio. Oh, we'll Hell be in yeah. the new. See, we have we'll be a in the new, new studio. We'll be in the new new. So we, we might, on up we to might the have to. Side. You know what, South. Cito? I might. I <laughs> might. Cito. <laughs> Cito. This is this is what I'm. A, I, you know what, Jay, me and you, we gonna have to talk about filming a little bit different. But Cito, if you got some, if you got some beats, tone, let's put it out there. If you got bars and Cito got the beats, we'll put his beats and we'll do what we've been talking about. Oh, yeah. We've been trying get to set up bar, a cypher. Get your bars oh, set up okay. and come see us July. Well, it's not July 20th, but come see us. Hit up Tone. I'm going to be in Tampa. I'm going to be in Clearwater. We're going to get you in the studio straight up and we're going to put you on a camera and we're going to basically kind of do rap city the basement see if you got bars what you That's got hard. for it anybody that got bars out there hit up jay just chilling hit up uh tone hit me up links in the description we gonna do this. just let we me know what kind it. of beat you feel you know what i mean like nah, I, ain't gonna, I ain't gonna go just, super I, vintage I like no i just want to you know i ain't beat. gonna do so let me know what, I just wanna wow, you know what? if let you know. got bars you got bars period true Nah, for sure, I just but, want you know, a random beat. So sometimes they need to be bars to help them. and you want to be in the studio bad. and you want to be on our podcast, hit up uh, Tone Def in Florida. Hit up Jay Just Chilling or hit me up and we'll be able to get you. I'm going to be in Florida in a couple of weeks. All links are in the description as well as as, um, as, as, well as his. So uh, if you have any questions. Just send us a fucking message, honestly. Yeah, you know, oh, just drop a comment. I'm, I'm yeah. constantly reading comments, so drop a comment. And I'll, I'll reach out to you on YouTube, wherever I see. Yeah. It. So, Cito, drop a comment. A, a, drop any, a, uh, yeah, anything. any links that you want, we're gonna put down in the description, and then we're gonna go uh, 
promote that shit and go from there. We'll pro- hopefully uh, we're gonna get some get some traffic to uh, what you're doing. What you're uh, appreciate that. Let's man. get you up. Yeah, yeah, sure. definitely. The, you know the Instagram. You know you could put that on there. Uh, mm-hmm. My official. I wouldn't say like a beat site, but it has my beats on there. But it's like everything on there. You know, like, mm-hmm. uh, how you could book me for the studio, uh, for studio time online and at Executive in Clearwater. Got some beats on there. Got some credits. You know, stuff that I worked on on the bottom of the bottom of my site, bottom of the homepage. Nice. Um, and yeah, expect you know just beat uh, probably just beats you see right now on my page, my main uh, website. But that's just for right now, man. I'm gonna do. <clears throat> full songs, you know, uh, very soon, you know, so, yeah, just... Be, be, Those are know. their samples, right? Not full beats? Well, on the on the website? Yeah. Yeah, no, they're full Flips. beats. I ah, think they're They're clips. full beats. They're full? Are, are they trademarked? Nah, they're yeah, clips. Yeah, for sure. Yeah. Okay, good. On the Instagram, though, they're clips, though. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Instagram, yeah, yeah, they're yeah, just clips. Okay, clips. well, I'm they're just making sure, like, people are not yeah. stealing your shit. Nah, they're yeah, not. Yeah, I don't have, like, clips. that's YouTube. Like, I don't put too much on YouTube because yeah. of that. Like, yeah, well, yeah, yeah, yeah. I mean, <laughs> you can get, a, there's audio grabbers out there, too, but from websites that you can. Oh, even on sites, too? Yeah. 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 I yeah. Think about that. yeah. All they have to do is screen record. Yeah, but I'm, mm. I'd imagine it's some sort of quality drop. Anyways. No, anyways. Let's, not, let's not give nobody any ideas. It is a little bit, but yeah, no, I hear, I hear yeah, what you're saying. Let me tell you no. something. Hold on. Let me tell you something. I got good joy, J- Jewish lawyers. Don't play with my peoples on this podcast. Just so you don't know. Yeah. yeah. Might need some of them. Need some <laughs> intellectual pop- property uh, lawyers, you know. Yeah. Don't, don't play need with them. my people on this podcast. Well, with that I being said, ladies and gentlemen, Cito, thank you for coming into the studio. All his links will be in the description below. Thank you for having me, man. Jay, just chilling. Yes, sir. It's the official show. My name is Tony Deaf. I'm sorry, Tony D. Ladies and gentlemen, see you. Peace.